we hope to bring back a championship to San Antonio. Head coach Maddie Williams and her Broncos are two wins away from a state championship in big board sports. For the first time in school history, the Brandeis Broncos volleyball team has made it all the way to state. That's after they were able to sweep Austin Vandergriff Saturday afternoon to win the Region 4 championship and now get to travel to Garland where this Friday they'll face Bridgeland in the Class 6A state semifinals. Bridgeland brings in a 39 and 11 record compared to the Broncos 45 and 2. We stopped by Brandeis Monday to get the Broncos preparing for their state run. Definitely a lot of emotion. We're having a really good time. We love each other so much. Um, it's just fun to be able to like experience this type of stuff with your best friends. Um, I think that plays a huge role in how we're playing together and having that chemistry. It's really special, you know, we're the last team in San Antonio in our area. So it's like we're practicing while others are done, but it's really special to us. The Broncos state semifinal game on Friday starts at 5 p.m. in Garland and KSAT 12 sports will be there Saturday afternoon. Canyon volleyball swept dripping springs in the regional final and punched their tickets to the UIL state tournament for the first time since 2015. KSAT 12's Andrew Seeley caught up with the Cougarettes yesterday as they prepare for a road trip to Garland. We were just so determined. After losing to them twice this year in our fall line tournament and the second round of district, it was it was almost like revenge for us. And like we knew what we wanted, and that morning we all woke up we're like we're doing this, we're winning this game. It was it was just so much fun. Saturday's Class 5A regional final victory over Dripping Springs was the latest landmark for a Canyon volleyball program that is preparing to make its 12th all-time appearance at state. It is so exciting. Like you wake up every morning, you're just. Like, I'm excited to get up at 7 a.m. I'm excited to come here every morning. Like, it means a lot, especially with this group of girls. I've been playing with some of them since second grade. It means so much, especially for Coach Sanders as well. It's a really, like, positive vibe right now. We're, we are so excited. We've never been to state, so this is a kind of a new experience for us. And um, I think we're all just really pumped and excited to see, uh, try new things. There is still volleyball left to be played, and this year's squad would love nothing more than to bring home the program's first state title since 1983. We definitely want to feel the excitement um, here and there, but at the same time, we have to come into practice ready to go and get the job done. The first step on that journey is Friday's Class 5A state semifinal against Grapevine at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland. We've done this together. It's not been one person. It's been the team, the coaches, the managers, fans, parents. Everyone has played a crucial role, and so um, I couldn't be more grateful for each of them. For KSAT 12 Sports, I'm Andrew Seeley. All right, we wish uh, Brandeis. And Canyon, the very best. Sound like Garland is a place to be this weekend. <laughs> it is indeed, yes. yes. You like volleyball. Some of the best volleyball in the state going down. Sounds yeah. like it. Thanks, Larry. All right, we're heading over to SA Live. What are they cooking up today? Uh -oh. Talking is, turkey. Yes, it is day three of our Thanksgiving prep week. Yes, and we are not talking turkey right now, though, because one of the sides that always is a big hit, mashed potatoes, and Griselda Munoz is here from Plantology, and we are doing the mashed potatoes, right? Start with butter? Yeah, well, that's not real butter. That's vegan butter. Okay. Vegan butter, okay. Yeah. And you gotta have potatoes in there and then toss it off, top it off with a little bit of milk, right? That's oatmeal. Okay. And this is actually gonna be a part of our meal, not the side, but actually in it, right? Yes. Okay. All right, and from vegan options to fried options, our Jen Tobias Dresky is out of the local restaurant. Get your Cajun Thanksgiving fix here at Acadiana Cafe. They do all the cooking for you. We've got more to come. We'll tell you all about their package deals. And right. speaking of deals, we love finding you deals. So we have got a restaurant roundup of all the places offering some Thanksgiving deals for the holiday. Yes, indeed. And are you looking to do a little bit of shopping? I'll tell you what, we have got some great, great gift ideas. These are fantastic. Look at those ornaments. They're Handmade metal ornaments right there. Really adorable and a great little buy local market coming up so you don't have to fight the big crowds. All right, it's such a staple on Thanksgiving. We're talking cranberry sauce. Now, do you like it freshly made or do you like it out of a can? The canned cranberry. You got to <laughs> let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Fresh or canned cranberry? A lot more coming up on SA Live. Seventy-nine degrees. We'll be in the low eighties today. A warm day. 
That all changes tonight. Cold front moves through around midnight. 20% chance of rain. Much, much cooler tomorrow. 63 and windy. Be prepared for some very gusty winds on your Thursday, guys. Don't forget your jacket. Yes, and apparently the only thing that, that Justin and David agree on is mashed potatoes. <laughs> you don't like sweet potatoes. No. He doesn't like potato salad. No. <laughs> he doesn't like sweet potatoes. I won't eat At cranberries. least not in the casserole. Yeah, uh, cranberries are, no. You don't like cranberries. I don't care if they come out of can or right off the vine. I am so glad I'm not cooking for y'all. So, <laughs> well, just un-American. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you would cook that would be great. Just kind of like SA Live, they're always cooking up great stuff. Yes, it starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. <laughs> Bring that sandwich in for a landing. Hello and happy Wednesday. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, back, take back a turn. This way. Our Down, thanks. <laughs> forward. Down, forward. Right, feel, he's trying to get it closer like to his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, right. Well, our Thanksgiving prep week continues. And it's all about the restaurants today with some shopping thrown in, you know, because it's the holidays. So good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Oster. Hage. and again, this Thanksgiving week, and one of those signatures is, is cranberry sauce. <laughs> uh, cranberries. Yes. But the big question is, mm. how do you like it? Okay. Do you like it fresh? Or can Instacart did its annual Thanksgiving expose. You know, <laughs> these facts are checked, rechecked, and checked again. All right. And one thing they investigated was how America liked their cranberry sauce. And you, you are see, looking at that map right there, and that breaks it down. Mm -hmm. Generally, the East Coast likes canned cranberry sauce, and the more you move west, <laughs> the more they like it fresh. Mm, okay, so Mississippi had the most people that liked canned, and Iowa had the most shoppers that liked it fresh. Texas is kind of right smack in the middle there, pretty divided, fresh or canned cranberry sauce. All right, so you, you gotta weigh in. Let us know on Facebook and Twitter if you like fresh or canned cranberry sauce. Okay, at the same time, three, two, one, canned. You did it! I like them both. What? Okay, I'm gonna pick go, one. I'm gonna go canned. I'll go canned. Okay. Oh my god. My brother and I used to always fight who got to slice it first because you, you know it's like the perfect little thing there. I know. I mean, I, I kind of like it canned. If you're gonna eat it just as, why do I feel I like weird can. sharing that? <laughs> and then if you're gonna put it on something like sandwich, then fresh. Okay. okay. All right. Hey. So let us know at Facebook uh, on, on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> That, that's okay. the signal to move on. Look, Read. Look, okay, <laughs> we all know that turkey is king, but some people do like to try something a little bit different. Our first guest is keeping the options open. Griselda Munoz, owner of Plantology, is here and has been putting up with us for the past hour <laughs> to yes. show you some of the turkey twists they are offering for Thanksgiving. This welcome, welcome. Segment couldn't oh, come thank soon you. enough, could it, Griselda? Thank you. All right, well, now is your chance to boss us around and, and keep us in line. So you are offering Thanksgiving in a sandwich, but it's not your typical turkey sandwich that we're looking at right there right yeah that is correct that sandwich is made out of chickpeas the turkey so we're gonna prep right now hope you know we're just gonna do first the dijonese okay yeah so what kind of bread we got going on here because it looks that's really a sourdough good. yeah Ooh. okay and oh. it's all vegan and gluten free as well okay and so that you also offer a twist on um, tamales while he's making yes, that, right? Yes, so it's almost tamal season that we have him right here, and you know. Now I have to do this in order, right? Turkey first. Yes, turkey first. On just one half or both? Oh, both. both? No, just okay. one. I'm sorry. Just one. Okay. Yes. Can I put three slices on there? Yep. I like a lot of turkey on my sandwich. So. Okay. <laughs> and then cheese. Cheese, of course. Cheese. Okay, and then mashed potatoes. Little mashed potatoes on there. Yeah. I like that. Okay, these are the mashed potatoes we made going into the uh, at our little tease there at the start of the show. Mm -hmm. Not really, they're already made. <laughs> and here we have. That's the fresh that's sauce. Fresh, right? fresh cranberry sauce. Fresh. So you would be fresh. Are you fresh or canned? I prefer the fresh, um, just because I can add some extra flavor to it. You know, I, I like to add some lime juice. You know, some lime zest. So yes, I prefer fresh. Okay. And then a little bit of arugula, and boy, arugula is a great green. I love the flavor that that adds to it. And then we top it off. Mm-hmm. Okay. And slice this baby up, and we are all set to go, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're gonna enjoy that over there. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, so twist on tamales, right? Yes, this this is the tamales that we offer. This one right here is bean, uh, cream cheese, and jalapeno. Oh my mm. gosh. Okay, maybe we can pass one over real quick. 
uh, right. because I know that that Mike would like this. Oh, now, thank you. Okay, the, earlier this week we saw a poll that said green bean casserole was the most popular Thanksgiving side yes. in Texas. Really? Okay, you have a twist on that, right? Definitely. This is called green bean salmon dean, and this is like a healthier twist on that. And you know, it doesn't have like the fried stuff, you know, like the fried onions or anything like that. And this comes in less than five minutes. And the nice thing about doing, I think, green beans like this is because sometimes the green bean casserole, when you use canned ones, they really are, are cooked. And so you can keep the good little crunch of the green beans yes. like that, right? Yeah, that is definitely true. And also, I prefer to blanch the green beans before, you know, at least for three, four minutes. So mm -hmm. they, can, they can stay green like this. Okay. That sandwich, by the way, if nobody told you that it was chickpeas and oh, yeah. not turkey, that's very tasty. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, and now tamales. Oh, so tamales. tell folks what I've just put in here. Yes, yeah, so then from there just do the green beans. But we've got, what do we have in here already? Okay, so it's almonds and shallots and garlic. Okay, and now I'm adding the, all of this? Yes. Okay, all the green beans. Okay. So plantology, aside from and Thanksgiving, what do you have on the menu? So we are offering a wide variety of menu items. So we have pancakes, we have chicken and waffles. Uh, we have a lot of sandwiches. One of them is a Cuban sandwich, which is very popular right now. And also we have a Reuben sandwich. Mm. So you use plant-based corned beef? Yes, that we do. How do you get how do you get it to taste like that? Because this tastes like turkey. With chickpeas. <laughs> we make it out, we made them out of chickpeas as well. Right. We use a diff different seasonings to them, but yes, we make them with chickpeas as okay. well. And chickpeas, excuse me for talking about mouthful, are very healthy, right? <laughs> yes, they're they're full of protein and you know, that's like a kind of like a complete protein, the chickpeas. Because that's what's found in hummus, right? Mm-hmm, that okay. is correct. Okay, all right, so this will kind of cook down typically, yeah, right? Yeah, this is gonna cook for at least five minutes, mm -hmm. and you know, we just add salt, pepper, and some lime juice, and okay. we're done. Okay. Now, if folks want uh, to pick this sandwich up, this is gonna be made when? This is, that sandwich is gonna be available this Saturday, and then it's gonna be available all next week. Why okay. is it? <laughs> it's like the waitress coming up to the table right when you take a bite. As soon as I'm ready to ask a question, I take a bite. And you're That's open Thanksgiving fault. Day, right? Thank yes, you. we're going to be open Thanksgiving Day until 3 p.m. Until 3 p.m.? Yes. Okay, well, you can get Plantology's Turkey Alternative starting Saturday. And don't forget, they are open Thanksgiving Day until 3 p.m. And of course, for more information on Plantology, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, from vegan options to fried options, our Jen Tobias Strusky is taking us out to a local restaurant that's putting a Cajun twist on some turkey meal deals for Thanksgiving. Hey, Jen. We are here at Acadiana Cafe where they will do all the cooking for you. Owner Dave Saylor joins me now, and we're starting with the most important part, right? The that's turkey. right. The most important <laughs> part of Thanksgiving is your is your fried turkey, deep fried Woo, turkey wait. from Acadiana. Yes, and so yes. here it's all about the marinade. So you have all these lovely things here because this is what goes into your marinade. That's right? what this is what goes into your liquid marinade. You've got your trilogy of Cajun vegetables, mm -hmm. onions, celery and bell peppers. In this case, we're adding in some red bell peppers too. Mm. And that's part of what gives it the red color. Okay, and that's Plus what here, yes. some Cajun hot sauce from Ooh. Louisiana. A little real, kick, right? A little kick. I love it, okay. So all that gets marinated with our four and a half secret herbs and spices besides mm -hmm. your vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we cook it down and that's what you get. This is what this is a secret. Okay, a lot, Jennifer. A lot of time, a lot of people will deep fry turkeys. Mm -hmm. Deep fry turkey is a good product, even if you don't inject it with a liquid marinade. But we find that if you inject it, you add flavor and you add moisture to it. Okay. Now, a lot of people will sprinkle it with spice before they cook it. We don't. We don't. We could, we sprinkle it, as you'll see after a while, we'll sprinkle it after we cook when it. When it comes out. See, that's a great out. tip. So how many yes. times does this go in the turkey? How many times are you injecting? Okay. Let's let's count. <laughs> count for me. <laughs> All okay. right. Let's take it. We're going to do half of the turkey at a time. Okay. We're going to start with the breast. One, two. I see it puff up as you go. Yes. Excuse Three, me. four, five, six. Reload. 
Uh -oh. And this marinade, you said people can actually purchase from yes. here. Yes, uh, Jennifer, we sell this by the pint or the quart. Lovely. Shoot, I'll sell you five gallons if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we're at six. Oh, I think so. Okay, okay six, and then go to the, the drumstick. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got to get him back here in the back <laughs> of his leg. Ten, eleven. Okay, let's go a little bit into the thigh. Okay. 12, 13, 14. All right, okay. 14. So that would be half. So 28, we're doing 28 injection points per turkey. And this is the finished product here. So obviously a lot yes. goes into the prep work, but we're speeding it up for TV purposes and we're gonna cut right into the this. The miracles of huh. modern TV, voila, this turkey is now this turkey and we're going to Cut. Wait, let's put, let me put on my glasses because okay. we want to see this. he has removed those gloves he had on. The, yes. For, for the raw turkey, obviously. Okay, now, now. Now we're cutting Okay, this. so we're going to cut in and we're just going to, this turkey just came out a little bit ago. What you're going to see, you're going to see the spices mm. here in just a second. Oh, okay. See this moist oh and you're going to see the goodness. color. Oh, oh my God, look at it, look at that. <laughs> and this is part of the packages that you have, still available, I know that you team up with nonprofits. I know this Saturday yes. you're feeding uh, 20 families, I believe. We're partnering mm -hmm. up with uh, Kingdom Business Women's Ministry, and we've had a long association with them for several years. Wonderful. And they feed families, and we're donating some turkeys for that. So, and So uh, along with that, um, which is great, by the way, I love when restaurants are giving back, but also people can purchase a whole package, uh, which includes much more. And we're going to get to that when we come back here on SA Live. But of course, I'm going to taste the turkey. Um, but the package includes the turkey and all the fixings, right? Turkey dressing mm -hmm. gravy is your meal deal, or you can get the turkey by yourself, so good. or as you'll see after a while, you'll get sides at Acadiana you can't get anywhere else. So we're not done. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you, Jennifer. This is amazing. We're not done. When we come back, all the Cajun sides to go along with your Cajun fried turkey. Back to you guys. <laughs> yeah, that fried turkey is amazing if you've never had it before. So the meal deal, once again, comes with turkey, dressing, and gravy, but you can add some of their signature sides, too, and you're going to have to stick around, stick around though, because you're going to get a sneak peek at that. We're going to be back to Acadiana coming up a little bit later on. And if you need more information on the Acadiana Cafe, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on the show. We're saving you money for Thanksgiving. You're welcome. It's a deal on drinks where you can get gallons of tasty tea for a price you can't beat. But first, are you looking for those one-of-a-kind decorations and gifts? We are checking out some fun finds from a local shop that has a little something for everyone. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live, and of course, a big part of the Thanksgiving weekend is the shopping. From clothing, art, decor, gifts, this local boutique has one-of-a-kind gifts that you are looking for, some really neat stuff. Sylvia Tijerina, owner of The Artisan, is here to show us some of the fun items they have for the holidays. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. You have got just mm -hmm. a little bit of everything Thank you. Here. Yes, we sure do. And they're all incredibly unique. I mean, this yes. is where you can find things for folks, and when you give it to them, most likely, it, you know, they're not going to get it from anybody else. No, yes, we are collect we are a collective of seven to ten local artists. Um, we carry anything from clothing to art to home decor to gift items, um, and we brought a display of things for y'all to look at. Right in front of you, I love those. Yes, those these right here. Actually, right? These are actually tin Christmas ornaments, mm -hmm. which are really great stocking stuffers and great for gift ornament exchange parties. Aren't wow. these get that? That's these so are cool. and these are these are the, the bigger ones here. Oh my gosh! And y'all will see that on a tree here. Yeah, we have a couple yeah. that are um, actually on the tree there. I, I love the heart, mm -hmm. which yeah, is, the heart. The heart is a very popular one. Where is it? Right, right there. Right there. That yeah. is just adorable. So cute. There we go. Okay, and then some of the uh, we have clothing. As well. We we carry clothing for men and women. Um, we have unisex T-shirts for men and women. Um, uh, we also carry. We also make some of the clothing in-house as well. Mm -hmm. We have an in-house brand called the Funky Soul, and a lot of our a lot of our products are made in-house along with the other um, artists that we that we feature. Okay, hold that up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There this is one of the um, one of the T-shirts that we carry. Okay. There we oh, go. And that's very a, cute. It's fun. Uh, 
<laughs> Live hard, drive slow, slow and low. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, love the, I like these journals because not only, I mean, people to uh, keep recipes. You said they're, yeah, they're sort of they're planners. People planners. use them as planners or sketchbooks, and we make those in house. Look with any sort of like designs. blank paper or uh, uh, yeah, we paper have we actually carry the inserts that you can replace in them. We also mm -hmm. have the pencil um, pen holder that you're you're, mm -hmm. you're carrying right there. We also make sunglasses, um, eyeglass holders as well, credit card holders, all sorts of things for, for, for gift items. These are absolutely adorable. It's little bibs and burp claws. Yeah, those are sets. Those are so cute. Yeah. And, what a and we love thing. to do the patchwork on them as mm -hmm. well. So it's kind of a unique thing. And again, what a perfect thing, you know, for a little baby shower, just a, a because. Yes. You know, going to yes. somebody's house or something like that, yes. right? Okay. And the dolls over here? Yeah, those are um, handmade Frida dolls by one of our artists mm -hmm. and uh, make great gifts. Also, we have the cosmetic bags there, multi-purpose bags. You can never have too many of these, right? Correct. <laughs> be, it, be it a cosmetic bag or even a... It's a, a catch-all bag. Yes. I mean, you can even use those in your car, exactly. I do. <laughs> or, you know, to carry your hand sanitizers right. or your Kleenex or, you know. And right. plus they make a great little clutch even with the Fiesta coming yeah. up, too. Yeah. That's your outfit. Look at you. They're, they're, you know, I've been married a long time and I use the term clutch. <laughs> For something and of like course, that. like throw pillows. Yes, we 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 actually make those um, in house as well. Very unique fabric that we like to carry that um, that you don't necessarily find in other places. And speaking of art, you have become kind of a local selfie spot. Yes, we have a beautiful um, Mexican Otomi art mural on the oh, side wow. of our building, um, and it was created by the beautiful artist Angelica Sanchez and people love to go out there, take selfies. We've had people do photo shoots for quinceaneras, weddings, baby announcements, all sorts of things. It's really fun. Wow, look at that. Yeah. I wish we could get our walls painted like that. That's really <laughs> neat looking. And, and we have the this. beautiful wreaths, yes. I, lo I love that one there. So all these different things. And again, it's one of those places you walk in there and go, ooh, I like that. And then you just walk around a couple of times. Right, and if you see, see something, something you like, you better snatch it up. <laughs> also, if you're thinking about doing a little bit of shopping, you've got a great market coming yes, up Yes, we right? have a small business Saturday market happening on November the 27th, this Saturday, right after Thanksgiving from 11 to 6. And you're going to be teaming up with We another. are going to be teaming up with a new business that just opened up, La Segunda Bartique and Gallery, and we will have all of our vendors there together. Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea because so many it people is. are going to be invading the malls and you just avoid that rush. Yes. Right? And so, like, <clears throat> what have you noticed is kind of the more popular items? Besides Actually, that a little part? bit of everything. Okay. Our clothing is very popular. Okay. Um, our t-shirts, we sell a lot of t-shirts because our t-shirts are very unique. Mm -hmm. The graphics on them, and you know, there's, you don't see them in very many other right. stores. Um, but gift items as well, um, we also do custom work too. Sometimes they go in there and they see some of the shirts that we've made and they sometimes they'll bring their own t-shirts and or their own clothing and we alter them for them. Oh, yeah. okay. Good yeah. stuff. Thank yeah. you so much. Sylvia Tijerina, owner of The Artisan. Don't forget, the Saturday after Thanksgiving is Small Business Saturday. The Artisan, along with their neighboring businesses, are having a market event. It's happening from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at their shops located at... 1103A South Presa Street. And for more information on The Artisan, of course, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Great stuff, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next on SA Live, get your pies and sides. We're checking out how one local restaurant can make your Thanksgiving extra tasty. And next, ooh, yes, one of my favorite Christmas light displays are back. We take you to one of the city's most popular ones and tell you about the big event kicking off the season. That's straight ahead on SA Live. The 35th annual Light the Way Holiday Festival presented by HEB at the University of the Incarnate Word is back this year with all the in-person traditions you know and love. And we are out here at UIW and they are stringing the lights in the trees, which is always beautiful. And joining us now is Megan Koontz, who is the special events manager. Hello. It's that time of year already. It is. It's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. So it's back in person this year, mm -hmm. which is so fantastic. It what is. can folks expect? Well, we're just delighted to be back in person this year. Um, last year, we had to pivot to a drive through experience because of the pandemic. Uh, but this year, we are so excited to go back to um, what everybody's come to view as like their favorite time of year, which is our in-person festival that we have here on campus at our Broadway campus. 
Um, and so we're just super excited to, to welcome everybody back um, and celebrate with us turning on all of our lights. And of course, that is the star of the show, are mm -hmm. all the lights, which we just love to always see every year. But there's, I mean, this is a day-long family event, right? It is, it is, absolutely. Um, the gates open at three o'clock in the afternoon, and we're gonna have all kinds of good things. Everybody's favorites are gonna be back. Uh, we're gonna have two food truck uh, lots with our friends over at the San Antonio Food Truck Association. So any type of cuisine that you could probably want, we'll probably have it here. We're gonna have live entertainment starting at three o'clock, running all the way until fireworks at 9.30. We're gonna have a shopper's lane down the way with dozens of local vendors. We're gonna have a kids corner so that all your kids can go and play and get a little bit dirty get a little bit of a sugar high um, and then of course we're gonna have fireworks brought to you by our friends over at Hill Electric at 930 so all that goes on flip the switch on the lights and then fireworks that is absolutely correct uh, the lights are gonna go on at about six o'clock in the afternoon when the Sun goes down um, so about 615 the lights should all be on there's gonna be over a million lights on and then the evening concludes with fireworks when do they start putting up all the lights oh that is it's a basically a year-long project like they're this is one of the final days of it but we're basically start taking down the lights in january and putting up the lights in june <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> now i do feel like i'm gonna be late what is christmas without the lights here at uiw that's exactly it san, Ant or san antonio wouldn't know the holiday spirit without light the way <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful white lights or colored lights what's your favorite Oh, you're going to put me on the spot now. Uh -huh. Personally, in my house, I love a good warm, buttery glow. But here on campus, they it almost has like a kind of like a La Vie en Rose, kind of like the pinkish hue on campus that just looks so stunning. I like that, that buttery glow of that. But yeah, I mean, all of these <laughs> lights and, you know, trying to get through the intersection here. It's just like, oh, look. You know, it's a, anyway. It is. It's very much like, oh, look, a chicken. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. Well, of course, the UIW Light the Way Holiday Festival is happening this Saturday, November 20th, from 3 o'clock to 9.30 p.m., of course, right here at the University of the Incarnate Word, presented by HEB and hosted by KSAT's very own Steve Spreester. The kickoff ceremony begins at 6 and lights go on at 6.30. Don't miss it. Of course, for more information, call 210-829-6001 or visit the website uiw.edu slash light the way. Okay, Megan, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, it's all the drinks you need for Thanksgiving. We found an incredible deal that will get you gallons of tea for a price you can't beat. It's our deal of the day. And next, we're back at your sneak peek at a Thanksgiving feast. We feast. We check out the signature sides and pies that could occasion up your Thanksgiving. Don't go anywhere. back to SA Live. Well, if you're looking for something uh, to do uh, over Thanksgiving and have someone do the cooking for you, there are several places in and around San Antonio that can help you. Yep, that's right. And one of them, of course, is an Alamo City staple. It is uh, Acadiana Cafe, known for the Cajun food, and they have been cooking for more than three decades. But of course, they are known for their deep fried turkeys. And Jen got to taste that a little bit earlier. And now it's all the sides. What are you <laughs> serving up, Jen? Yes, earlier you saw the Cajun fried turkey. Dave Saylor joining me now, the owner here at Acadiana Cafe, located off 410 and Marbach. And now it's all about the sides. This is what is included in the package if you get your Thanksgiving meal. That's right. Tell okay. me, tell me so all about it. So the package is a deep fried, <laughs> you can get just a turkey by itself, or you can get turkey, dressing, and gravy. Ooh. That's a, the, the meal deal, the mm -hmm. package deal. And this includes that trilogy, that Cajun trilogy, right? That goes into We're the We're starting with that for the corn. You got to say it right, Jennifer. <laughs> for the cornbread okay, dressing. Cornbread. We okay. start with the trilogy of vegetables again. <laughs> celery, onions, and bell peppers. Mm -hmm. We add in some Texas bacon. Okay, yes. We please add in, that. Mm -hmm. We add in some more spices, mm -hmm. some sage, and some mm -hmm. poultry seasoning. And that is your finished one right there. Product, your beautiful. Oh my God! Put any thoughts of stovetop <laughs> out of your mind. You know. <laughs> Throw those boxes out and come get it from here at Katyana Cafe. Now this is included, like you said, with the gravy. But if they want yes. to go all Cajun style Thanksgiving, yes. uh, tell me about what else we have. Well, here. sure, we can do mashed potatoes and green beans for you, which we do. 
hey, do some turnip greens. Ooh. Reach out, you know, expand your horizons a little bit. <laughs> turnip greens, there's some Cajun cabbage, uh, some red beans and rice, mm -mm -mm. some chicken and dumplings. Oh my and, goodness. And folks, forget those rolls that you get at, <laughs> at wherever. Get some biscuits okay, and cornbread for let's, me. Let's, oh. let's open this biscuit. Okay, oh. I'm taking a piece, thank you. you <laughs> I love you. your reaction. Okay. <laughs> and then dessert. Oh, okay. Peach cobbler, bread pudding. Uh, what we do not have out here is, and some guests will, some customers will know, our cranapple crisp, Ooh. which is cranapples, fresh apples in a crisp, mm. baked off to perfection. Okay, so here's the important part. All of this obviously looks amazing, smells amazing, and tastes amazing. Uh, what is the cutoff for people to call? I know they can call you and place their orders Call now. us 210-674-0019 <laughs> or mm -hmm. come on by mm -hmm. Acadiana Cafe, 1289 Southwest Loop 410. In the okay. bayous at Marbuck and 410. I love it, I love it. <laughs> and I know you said you just had a thousand turkeys delivered. We just had a thousand turkeys come so. in on the truck. Okay, you asked when the cutoff time yes, was. Yes. There's no certain date. It's when all those turkeys are booked up. Okay. But, you know, if those people don't pick up their turkey within that 30 minute and they haven't called us, we can't get a hold of them. They've lost Go the on bird. our waiting They've list. They've lost the bird. They've okay. lost the bird. We'll sell it to you if you walk up. <laughs> okay. And they have a great setup out here to come pick up all the food. Uh, you guys are prepared. It's like you've done this before, right? We've done this. We've done <laughs> this for done. a few years. Yes, yes. Yes. And how long has Acadiana been around? Acadiana's been in here? this location. Wait a minute. I've lost count. 35 or 36 years since. Wait. Help me out. December of 1986 is when 1986, we opened here. Okay. Yeah. You're about 30, 35, 35 years. years. Okay. Wonderful. So they know what they're doing. And please come out here. And if you can't make it for the Thanksgiving um, meal deals, then come out any time of the year because the food is always wonderful. Dave, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you, San Antonio. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Back to you guys. SALive.com. For more information, click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Now I'm going to take some more bites of this biscuit. So good. Thank you, Dave. Wait. You need a hot one. <laughs> really <laughs> hungry right My now. My goodness. Oh. Right? That all that food looked amazing. I know. Yeah. And those fried turkeys. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure you get out there in that, that window to pick them up. Yes. Yeah. Before those birds fly the coop. Hey, hey, oh, hey. All right. Again, if you don't order your meal for Thanksgiving, Acadiana is also offering turkey meals for Christmas and any holiday gathering. And right now on KSAT.com, there is a full list of restaurants. Some of them are chains, some of them are local restaurants, but all of them are offering complete meals to go for Thanksgiving. All right, next on SA Live, it might surprise you, but winter is a good time for solar power. Why you should consider the switch before the cold air really sets in. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it'll feel more like fall tomorrow morning, right, Mike? Yes? yes. Okay, good, awesome. All right, so we know that winter is coming. So what does that mean for solar energy? Well, here with what you need to know is Dan Moran, Vice President of Sales with South Texas Solar Systems, also gonna tell you about a Black Friday special they've got going on in, in a few minutes. So right. before we get into that, and before we get into the winter months, what should folks do right now for their solar systems? Well, the first thing they should contact their install company, or, or, if, you're, or if you're with us, contact us, because the panels do need to be looked at, the inverter, but main, most of all, the panels need to get clean. So make sure all that's done before this winter starts to really come in. And that's the thing, is that you guys, I mean, you guys are on point yeah. with that, because I don't even know when they're supposed to be serviced, but you guys always contact me and let me know, hey, it's about that time, we'd like to schedule a time to come out, and it's it's simple and easy, and you guys, thank goodness, you guys keep me on point about that. Oh yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what will South Texas Solar Systems do for customers when they choose solar with you? Good question. Well, first of all, we're going to listen and then we're going to write down exactly what the customer is needing and gathering all that information and that starts with the electric bill. We got to know exactly what the kilowatt usage is so that we're, bu we're building the right suitable system for them so that we can offset their energy bill. Okay. And what about for the new year? Is there still time for rebates and tax credits? 
Yes, uh, there's still time. Uh, it is, you know, I've said it, I said it last year, it's like fourth quarter. I mean, we're about under 45 days left, and there's still quite a bit of red tape that we have to pull. So if you can contact us now so we can start that process, we can immediately help you get that rebate and tax credit for this year. So tell us more about, of course, South Texas Solar Systems. How long have you been around? And it is kind of a one-stop shop. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we are a fully functional company, and what I mean by that, we are um, we we're all in-house. We don't outsource any of our work. So uh, we're a family-owned and operated company. Uh, we do bring to the table experience, our, our innovation, and of course, all the great equipment that you can count on and trust. So how long we've been in business, we've been around 15 years, and that we really like to emphasize because there are a lot of companies out there, but we've grown since 2006, but we've grown organically, so that means that we are wanting to make sure that we can service everybody that we install. So hence the name South Texas, we only cover from South, you know, Austin, maybe down to the border towns. We can go up north and all that, but we really want to make sure that we take care of our customers, make sure that we service all the equipment that we install. All right. Let's Let's talk that Black Friday special because that's coming up. Yeah, we got a 15% uh, um, Black Friday special. Give us a call. I know that's next week, right? Mm -hmm. So give us a call. As soon as you give us a call, we'll, we'll add that 15% discount to your system. And please take advantage of that. Right now is the best time. Again, we're under 45 days to get this ball rolling so we, that we can secure your rebates and tax credits for this year. All right. So again, that 15% Black Friday special. Take advantage of that. And for more information or to book an appointment, give South Texas Solar Systems a call at 210-361-8431 or visit their website at txsolarsystems.com. And don't forget, you can follow them on all the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There are their handles on the screen. Dan, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, next on SA Live, it's a big health problem in our area and it's affecting people's teeth. What to do if you're at risk and how a local hospital is helping people turn around their health. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Well, it is time for our deal of the day. You can get four gallons of tea from HTO for only $19.99 when you pre-order. Pre-orders are happening now through Monday, November 22nd. Pickups will be Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And HDO has more than 20 flavors of fresh brewed iced tea. You can get it sweet or unsweet uh, flavors like Georgia peach and blueberry and mango, a really, really good flavors, very refreshing as well. And they are located over there at 8703 Hebner Road. Well, November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and did you know diabetes can affect not just your overall health, but your oral health? Methodist Healthcare Ministries is providing medical, dental, and behavioral health services at its two San Antonio-based clinics to help people with diabetes take control of their overall health. And we're out here at the Dixon Health and Wellness Center with Dr. Michelle Vargas, who is the Medical Director of Oral Health Services. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, tell us a little bit more about Methodist Healthcare Ministries and what you do here. Sure. Methodist Healthcare Ministries is a faith-based nonprofit that helps low-income, uninsured families get access to health care in 74 counties across South Texas. Here in San Antonio, we operate two clinics, the Wesley Health and Wellness Center on the south side and the Dixon Health and Wellness Center on the southeast side. The connection between diabetes and oral health, never knew that. What is it? Oh yes, it's a very strong connection. Diabetes can impact a person's overall health and oral health in a number of ways. Oftentimes, if patients' diabetes is not under control, um, it affects their mouth in many ways, such as dry mouth, uh, lower saliva production, which in turn can cause cavities, and also delayed wound healing, infections in the mouth, and also it can cause inflamed gums and gingivitis, which if left untreated, could cause more serious gum problems. Okay, so what can folks do to take better care of their, their teeth, basically, with or without diabetes? Well, it's important to see your dentist regularly and get regular cleaning. In addition to that, it's really important at home to brush your teeth at least two times a day 
Make sure you include flossing in your daily regimen. In addition to that, exercising really does decrease the blood sugar levels and having a healthy diet. Make sure that you avoid sugary snacks and don't forget to avoid those sugary drinks like sodas have tons of sugar in them and sports drinks as well. Okay, and back to the whole flossing thing, that's almost, I wouldn't say more important, but as important as brushing, right? Yes, it's very important to include that in your daily regimen. Okay, anything else you need to add? Well, it's important for patients and their dentists and their primary care providers to have a good communication because together when we communicate about the diabetes and about the patient's overall blood sugar levels, it really can improve their overall health, especially their oral health. Very good. Well, Methodist Healthcare Ministries has two clinics around town, the Dixon Health and Wellness Center at 4212 South Cross Boulevard and the Wesley Health and Wellness Center at 1406 Fitch Street. For more information, call 210-692-0234 or visit the website at mhm.org. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, we continue our Thanksgiving prep week featuring the main dish, the turkey, the local, a local food blogger shows us how to make the perfect size recipe for your family. Plus, we show you how to make Thanksgiving special this year with family fun crafts and games. All that and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you to weigh in fresh or canned cranberry sauce. This is how Instacart, uh, what? No, I was going to say oh, oh. candies. Yes. Fresher West. That's what that meant. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Kath <laughs> High five, Mike. All right. Kathy says absolutely fresh homemade cranberry sauce. And Yes, okay. Lisa! Oh, perfect. <laughs> Okay, Lisa says can. How'd you get it to stand up like that? That's perfect. It's, it's fascinating to I me. I love that. Okay. Fresh all the way says, comes, hello. I love you the can. can, says Linda. She grew up with it. Yes. Oh, oh no. Neither. Okay. Cranberry. Right, no go for Michelle. La I love the can. Yes. Cran. You know what we need to do? Because one of us has to find a couple of cans sauce. of that. We eat it during the show tomorrow.